reconcile the past and shape the future. Be a part of something special. This is a one of a kind opportunity. Good morning, Rockridge. Today's a B day. And it's March 23rd, and it's a Thursday. It is also Cuddly Kitten Day, so if you have any cats, go and give them a hug. Now on for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Good morning, Rockridge High School. As we begin another day, let us pause for one minute of silence. Please stand and join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Today, the Miss Phoenix organization brings you the heroic story of Sarah Emma Edmonds. Born in 1841, Sarah is a woman who is known for serving as a man with the Union Army during the American Civil War. She first served as a male field nurse, participating in several campaigns, including the First and Second Battle of Bull Run and Antietam. Later, Edmonds, a purported master of disguise, infiltrated the Confederate Army as a spy. Her exploits were described in the best-selling nurse, soldier, and spy. In 1897, she became the only woman admitted to the Grand Army of the Republic, the Civil War Union Army Veterans Organization. Edmonds died in La Porte, Texas, and is buried in the Grand Army of the Republic section of the Washington Seminary, Cemetery in Houston. Edmonds was laid to rest a second time in 1901 with full military honors. Rarely, rarely acknowledged by history, Evans was a courageous and valiant woman whose story deserves to be told. Look for posters of her around the school and help celebrate these amazing women. Millions of people are forced to leave behind their homes and their lives behind to become refugees. These tortured souls are in dire need of help. Unfortunately, many of them will not receive any and instead will perish from this earth. These people need help, our help. If you want to save them and give them another chance at life, come to the Refugee Club Interest Meeting in room 1607 or see Ms. Berg for more details. Help rebuild lives and end this great human catastrophe. Join the Refugee Club and take action. Come to the Mr. Phoenix tonight at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5, and that buys you entrance into the event and gets you five votes for your favorite contestant. Your votes matter. Come help decide who the next Mr. Phoenix will be. It will be Andrew Adway. Harish, Tucker, or Sachin. Senior superlative winners will also be announced. All proceeds from the event are going back to you for future school events as well as in, to an elementary school in need in North Carolina. Come support the Blaze at Scotto's from 5 to 8 on March 29th. All funds will go towards publishing the 2017 senior issue. Don't forget to mention you're, the, you're there for the Blazer fundraiser. Hope to see you all there. Are you aware of the global water crisis? Want to hear more about this issue? On Monday, the 27th, during Rock Block, there will be a guest speaker talking about this crisis. See Mr. Clear for a pass if you would like to attend. The Model UN is having a meeting during the second half of Rock Block today in L408, which is Ms. Felt's room. Students attending the Langley Conference, as well as those interested in attending the April Conference at TJ, should come for further information. If you cannot attend, but you're interested in participating in a conference, see Ms. Feltz in L408. Yearbooks will be having makeup club photos during Rock Block in the back of the auditorium today. This includes Pre-Professionals Health, Honor Society, Girls Who Code, Programming Club, Phoenix Friends, The Rock Serves, Band Club, German Club, Environmental Club, and a retake for the National Honor Society. The schedule, has, the schedule has been sent out to those club sponsors and is posted on the Rockridge Yearbook Twitter. 
Join teams from across Loudoun County for Battles Left. One is on Friday, March 24th at 6 p.m. at the studio in Sterling. Admission is $5. The final battle featuring winners from the first three battles will be held on Friday, April 21st at 6 p.m. at Tally Ho in Leesburg. Admissions is $8. The FBLA Blood Drive is this Friday, March 24th from 9.30 to 2. It is time to start eating iron-rich foods to keep your iron levels up for donation. The best rule is eat regular, nutritionally balanced meals, and drink plenty of water. Make your appointment this week during all lunch times. And now on to sports and weather. Alright guys, so for sports, there's a cheer interest meeting on Tuesday, March 28th at 7 p.m. in the library. There will be a mandatory volleyball meeting for those trying out for the team. All former volleyball players and those interested in the program must attend the meeting on Wednesday, March 29th at 8.20 a.m. in L406. For questions and concerns, contact Coach Wheaton or stop by L406 to discuss with Coach Smith. Tonight's competitions include boys tennis at Heritage at 4.30 p.m., early releases at 3.15, and the bus departs at 3.30. Girls tennis is playing Heritage at 4.30 p.m. as well. JV varsity boys soccer will be playing at Heritage at 6 o'clock and 7.15 p.m. The shuttle bus for JV departs at 4.45 p.m. and returns for varsity by 5.45 p.m. JV Varsity Girls Soccer is playing Heritage at 6 o'clock and 7.15 p.m. And JV Softball is at Tuscarora at 6 p.m. Bus departs at 4.30. Now for weather. Today is a high of 49 and sunny. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 64 and partially cloudy. All right, guys, that's all we got for you today. Have a great day.